when it comes to anti-aging, it's not just what we should eat, it's what we shouldn't eat. And that's what everybody's missing. Gotcha. Everybody's looking for a supplement or a pill or a rub or a scrub or a lotion or a potion. That's all great, but you got to stop putting the damage in and then the body's able to heal. Hi, this is Dr. Ross Carter with the Medical Influencers and Regenerative Warriors Show. I want to welcome our special guest today, Dr. Joe Esposito. Welcome to the show, Doc. Thanks so much for having me. So great to be with you. <laughs> it is a pleasure to speak with you today. Um, you actually have uh, your own radio show. It's actually what the largest in the world. Tell, tell us about the, uh, is it the largest in the United States or, or what is it? I think we're the largest in the world. No one's ever disputed that. So I guess we are. Um, yeah, I'm based here in Atlanta, WSB Radio Atlanta. I've been on the air about almost 10 years now. And uh, yeah, we have a huge, huge following. And we do live shows on Sunday nights on WSB Radio. And we do recorded shows on B98, 97 Wonder River, and WSB, which are Cox Media Stations, on Sunday mornings as well. So yeah, we got a pretty, pretty big following. That's fantastic. Uh, today, I want to go into a uh, topic of anti-aging. Yes. Uh, since we definitely are into uh, not growing older. I don't want right. to grow older. <laughs> nope. I don't think anybody yeah. does. And uh, so you, you know, nutrition is, is really one of the, the, the foundational keys to, you know, keeping yourself young and healthy. And you definitely, you know, it, you are what you eat. And uh, if you eat crap, you're going to, well, you're going <laughs> you're gonna, to, you're, you're going to go like old. It. Yeah, yes. exactly. So what I would love to uh, start with is some, some basic tips or basic areas the, to focus on um, in regards to how you should eat as you start to age and how to use food to your benefit and not let it, you know, just let you just fall, fall to pieces and stuff. Absolutely. Like well, it, it, things change. And I, I've always taught, said this, there's nutrition through the life cycle. We do, we need different things at different times in our lives. As an infant, breast milk is what we're designed to eat. So if we're not eating breast milk, uh, many times we're exposed to uh, highly allergenic foods like um, uh, dairy products. We don't have the enzymes to break down dairy. You need an enzyme called lactase to break down the lactose, which is in milk. Well, as a baby, you have a certain amount of lactase, but it breaks down human milk, not cow's milk. You need an enzyme called renin to break down casein. Casein is the protein that's found in milk, but human protein is different than cow's protein. So we're designed to drink human milk and then start weaning our way up into other foods. Uh, we do want to stay away from the two most highly allergenic foods there are, and that would be wheat and dairy products. Dairy number one, wheat number two. So the two foods I always say you need to avoid right away to prevent inflammation, to slow down the aging process is going to be wheat and dairy products. And when I say wheat, that's breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas. So it's not just, oh, I'm going to eat bread. We're going to have pasta. I'm going to have cookies. No, wheat is wheat. Now, when you and I were kids, wheat was different than it is today. Wheat was uh, taller, amber waves of grain. It was taller and produced a lower protein content than does the wheat today, which has been hybridized. So the wheat today has a higher protein content, specifically one protein that you hear a lot about is called gluten. Yes. And so gluten is made up gliadin and gluten. And it's two different types of um, amino acids or proteins may, make up the gluten. And the wheat gluten is the one we're talking about. There's corn gluten, there's rice gluten, doesn't have the same effect as wheat gluten. So this gluten, when it gets into the colon, causes an inflammatory reaction. Some people severe. Some people are like Crohn's or colitis. Uh, they just are horrible when they eat wheat. Other people, I feel we all have some reaction to it. Um, and also wheat is just sugar anyway. So you're eating basically sugar. So it's not just the gluten, it's the sugar. And if you had to pick one food that's going to speed up the aging process, it's probably going to be sugar. Because sugar, when it combines with proteins, creates something called advanced glycated end products, A-G-E. It says it in the name. It ages you. And, if, <laughs> and advanced glycated end products will get into the uh, cells in the skin and bind to them and break them down. Uh. So advanced glycated end products are the things that's really speeding up the visual aging, but it's not just outside, it's inside too. So you got to cut out the sugar, breads, cookies, cakes, donuts, pastas, I keep saying the same thing. Wheat and dairy, got to go. So when it comes to anti-aging, it's not just what we should eat, it's what we shouldn't eat. And that's what everybody's missing. Gotcha. Everybody's looking for a supplement or a pill or a rub or a scrub or a lotion or a potion. That's all great, but you got to stop putting the damage in and then the body's able to heal. So your, your two primaries are wheat and dairy. Correct. Gotcha. Yes. And now I also say stay away from animal proteins as well. I mean, I've been a vegan for 35 years. I'm 60 years old. 
I run circles around a 20 year old, which is great. Um, in fact, I just did a show right before this, one of my own shows, and somebody called, uh, they, they type in messages because it was a recorded show. Uh, and they said, you know, you, for, for a young guy like you, and I thought, yeah, maybe. So, but at 60 years old, I can still run circles around a 20 year olds and people don't think I'm as old as I am. And it has a lot to do with what I don't eat, not just what I do eat. So I don't eat animal proteins either. I've been vegan for 35 years. I'm not asking you to do that, but if there was a better way to do it, I'd be doing it myself. Right. What about fish? I'm not a fan of fish because, again, when you and I were young, we didn't have to worry about the contamination that goes on. So if you're going to eat fish, it's got to be wild caught. But even wild caught now, we're finding mercury in that and and, uh, heavy metals, radiation. So I'm not a fan of fish either. Gotcha. Or if you're going to have fish, make them smaller. Less mercury. Yes, absolutely. Good, good call, Doc, because the smaller the fish, the less toxins it has in it. Yes. Exactly. So, so what do you say is the best sources of protein to, uh, for your body? Your body only needs about 8 to 10% of its total caloric intake as protein. Okay. Anything beyond that is actually a stress. It has to be filtered out through the liver and the kidneys. Um, so a steak is like 17, 19% protein. Way too much protein. So a carrot is about 6% protein. So as long as you're eating a good variety of fruits, vegetables, and you can add some nuts and seeds and beans if you want to in there, you're getting more than enough protein. Most of us get way too much protein, even if we're vegans. So protein is really not an issue. Gotcha. So what foods do you recommend uh, since we've already covered the ones that you don't? (laughs) The bad ones. (laughs) Which ones are 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 basically kind of like the really good ones to, to, to include in your diet if you're not using them? Raw food is going to be the key that everybody's missing. Now, I say raw food, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, avocados, salad. Raw food has something in it called enzymes. This is the secret nutrient that nobody talks about, but it's the reason you and I are alive. You know as well as I do, all we are is like sack of chemicals. Add enzymes to it, and it becomes alive. So if we take the enzymes out of our diet, we, that's called aging. And when you're young, you produce a lot of enzymes. Your saliva produces enzymes, your pancreas produces enzymes, uh, your stomach produces enzymes. And as you get older, the enzyme levels drop. So what we can do very simply, very inexpensively, is add enzymes back into our diet. And the simplest thing we can do is by eating raw food. And so what I suggest everybody do is have something raw at every meal. So that would be a salad, broccoli, cucumbers, tomatoes, grapefruit, Raw food is going to give you those enzymes, and that's the one thing that everybody seems to be missing that's so easy to fix. Hey, this is Dr. Ross Carter again. Listen, um, if you're a doctor or a medical professional or interested in adding exosomes to your practice, or if you're actually a potential patient who's interested in exosomes, I want you to listen. Now, the company that we're recommending, I have an agreement with. Basically, I refer them business. Now, I would rather, if you're getting exosomes, make sure to get it from an actual company and not a distributor. So I'm not, you know, doing it that way. Basically, I'm just referring you to them. But if I do refer them to you or you to them, basically what you'll get is not only will you get product from them uh, at the best price you can get, but you'll also get an additional bonus of free uh, amniotic exosome products as well. So, so what that means is if you order uh, the, uh, the placental exosomes, the MSC exosomes, you'll get in addition for free amniotic ex- uh, exosomes, absolutely free. So if you're using amniotic exosomes, you're already paying for those. And so you get a, you get a vial of those for free with, with purchase of the MSC ex- exosomes. And hopefully you see the, the, the difference in the value by now. If you're a patient, and considering this and you think, hey, I'd like to do this procedure, um, all you got to do is you can contact me and I'll, I'll send you places that could be close to you. So here's how to contact me. Just go to my, just send me an email at drrosscarter at gmail.com. That's D-R-R-O-S-S-C-A-R-T-E-R at gmail.com. Or you can call or text me at 561-962-1231. That's 561- 9621231 so either email me or text me or call me it's just best to email or text me and i can get back with you with that information so if you're considering this uh let me uh you know be the reference point and it, it helps to support the show obviously uh i get a little uh, a benefit if i refer you so 
Um, I want to be transparent about that. So please support the show and email or text me and I can get you connected and give you the best prices. Plus, a special is you're going to get additional amniotic fluid exosomes for free. Can't beat that. So uh, I hope you uh, continue to enjoy the show. Uh, I'll let it continue. Here you go. So if you're going to eat that crappy steak or, <laughs> or that or that uh, mercury filled fish, right? You need to add your enzymes. So so have a a a, a, a salad. Yes. To that that has vegetables in it that are raw. Absolutely. Now I take a digestive enzyme. I have uh, my own line of supplements at drjoe.com is our website. And I have my own line of supplements and I have a digestive enzyme supplement. I take a, a, a digestive enzyme every time I eat a cooked meal. So whether it's uh, soup or, uh, I don't know, stir fried veggies, I'm always going to take that extra enzyme and that's going to help my digestive system and also slow down the aging process in most cases. Beautiful. And now that we're going through this wonderful uh, time in our lives, uh, thank God it's uh, 2021 now. Yay. Yay. That's right. <laughs> I know, right? We get a reset. Uh, w- now, there, there, I've been reading so much, and actually we're doing a whole show about a- anxiety and depression, and the, the amount of that is going up tremendously. I even saw a reporter talk about that one-fourth of teenagers – have com- attempted, considered committing suicide or something to that effect. I mean, Isn't that crazy. I think that's unbelievable. Yes. It's, it's, a, it's horrible. And, you know, what are we teaching our society? But so there's a lot of people under stress and anxiety, and uh, that affects our health as well, obviously. Are there foods that can help people that are having problems with, with dealing with this situation? Absolutely. The secret to, to a mental health is the digestive system. And simply put, your stomach has one main job. And that job is to take proteins, whether it's from a carrot or a steak, and break them down into something called amino acids. Yes. Now, the amino acid called tryptophan gets into the small intestine, combines with vitamin B6, and creates a chemical called 5-HTP. 5-HTP goes into the brain and creates a chemical <laughs> called serotonin. Mm-hmm. serotonin is a neurotransmitter that helps you focus serotonin becomes melatonin which helps you sleep so every case i've ever seen i've been in practice over 35 years i've seen tens of thousands of patients every case i've ever seen with anxiety depression add adhd even suicidal there's always something in the digestive system that's been mis- undiagnosed i didn't say misdiagnosed undiagnosed so we got to get the stomach breaking proteins into amino acids Then you got to make sure you have enough B vitamins, like B6, for example. So tryptophan combines with B6, creates 5-HTP. 5-HTP becomes serotonin. Serotonin becomes melatonin. Now you're able to sleep and focus. Right. Tyrosine, the amino acid tyrosine, becomes dopamine. Dopamine gives you pleasure. And so many times when we have anxiety and depression, we feel like there's just no pleasure in life. I'm not enjoying my family. I'm not enjoying romance. I'm not enjoying my food. I'm just so depressed. There's nothing to live for. How many times have we heard that? The reason is you're not getting pleasure. Right. So if we can get the stomach breaking proteins into amino acids to get tyrosine, tyrosine becomes dopamine. Dopamine gives you pleasure. goes right back to the stomach again. Now, should you supplement your, your diet with tyrosine? I don't recommend taking the amino acids because I'd rather fix the cause, which is your stomach not breaking down the proteins. Now, short term, Yes. You can take tryptophan, you can take tyrosine to get that boost. But ultimately, I want to fix the gut so that you're breaking down your foods to give you the amino acids. You mentioned B vitamins. Now, um, there's a lot of people that have a genetic problem with breaking down certain folic acid, for example. Yes. So do you do you recommend uh, methylated uh, uh, B vitamins? Yes. The methylation makes it easier to absorb, of course. Um, And you can always get your B vitamins tested. We do tests in our office. And again, we're talking about anti-aging. I do recommend you get a complete blood work. I do recommend we do something called a micronutrient test. So we can test your specific B vitamins. We can test your antioxidant levels. We can test your adrenal function. And then we can focus specifically on your problems. Uh, Again, generically, yeah, take these supplements, but then we want to dig a little deeper if we can as well. But the methylated just makes it a lot easier to absorb. Right, right. That makes sense. And so, so you do this in your office all the time where you're, you're just trying to figure out what exactly the nutrients or the, the deficiencies are. Correct. Right? And what tests do you use, uh, use for that? You said one of them. We do a micronutrient test. 
we could do a complete blood panel just because we need to know where we are. You know, right. how's our inflammatory markers? Uh, do we have enough red blood cells? Do we have an infection going on? Uh, so we usually do a complete blood panel, a CBC it's called, and a, a micronutrient test. Yep. Then if we need to, we can dig deeper. We can do specific tests for adrenal. We can do saliva tests for adrenal to see if the cortisol level is supposed to go high in the morning and drop off as the day goes on. If the cortisol goes up during the day or stays high during the day, then we got a problem. Right. We've got to figure out why the adrenals are so stressed. It's either chemical, mental, or physical stress that's causing the inflammatory reaction. So we want to get to the cause of the problem by finding out is it mental, chemical, or physical, and then try to fix it as well. So let's say someone is on uh, um, antidepressant or they're on yes. a benzodiazepine. Sure. How do you change the the way you treat them? Because obviously they're, they've got a chemical right. that they're taking on a frequent basis. How does that affect their diet and what do you do to help that? Well, I always tell patients never come off your medication until you're well enough to do that. Mm -hmm. Because every day patients come in our offices. We have four offices in the Atlanta area, Marietta, Duluth, Stockbridge, and West Cobb. People come in every single day and say, Doc, I want you to get me off my blood pressure medication. And the first thing I say is don't stop taking it or your diabetes medication or your HIV medication, whatever it is. Don't stop taking it until we get you well enough that you don't need it anymore. Gotcha. So we, we, we get them on and get – I have uh, the two – uh, primary supplements, I guess, the basic supplements are called Dr. Joe's Super Greens and Dr. Joe's Essential Source. The two powders, uh, Essential Source is prebiotics, probiotics, digestive enzymes, and a complete multi with dried fruits and vegetables in a powder form. Beautiful. And so we take the Super Greens, the Essential Source, a scoop of each, shake it up, uh, have them drink it every day. It tastes great. And that's the minimum supplements. Now with COVID, of course, and in winter, I always recommend vitamin D. Now down in Florida, not as big an issue as it is the further you go north. So the further you are away from the equator, the less sunlight you're getting. The yes, UVB rays are interacting with cholesterol, create vitamin D. I insist my patients take just five drops of Dr. Joe's vitamin D every day. Gotcha. And that stabilizes the vitamin D, which also helps build the immune system, which helps keep you young as well. What about sleep? What do you do to, uh, for problems with sleep? They usually listen to my podcasts. They fall right asleep. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. You got to fix the gut when it comes yeah. to sleep. Yeah. And then also you got to look at pain. Pain is a big issue and pain keeps people awake at night. It can. So, yeah. So we. Especially we, if it's your wife. <laughs> uh, she's, uh, she's a pain. No, I don't have a wife. Luckily so. <laughs> but, uh, but pain is a big issue. So if you have neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, numbness, tingling, chiropractic care is the most effective, least expensive treatment for back pain. So we start people out on a chiropractic protocol. Let's see if this is going to solve the problem. Yes. If we need to, we, it's called escalation of care. We may go to something called PRP. Mm -hmm. PRP is taking your own blood, spinning it down, taking out what's called the platelets, the growth factors, and re-injecting it in a concentrated form back into the body. That creates what's called a healing cascade. And now the body sends in these new growth cells into that area. In many cases, we need PRP. Sometimes we need pain injection. Sometimes we need medication but we want to get them out of pain as quickly as possible, fix their gut so they can create serotonin to produce melatonin. And then in most cases, the sleep comes back naturally. What about CBD? Do you like CBD? Absolutely. We have our own hemp oil on the website, drjoe.com. We also have a new CBD cream. I don't even know it's on the website yet. I just formulated it last, last week. We finished the formulation and it's lidocaine, menthol, and CBD. So the, the menthol gives you immediate, oh, I feel some relief. The lidocaine right. gives you long-term relief. And then the CBD gets into the body and stimulates what's called the cannabinoid system, which many times works to suppress the pain as well. Wow. Anything about THC? What's your thoughts on THC? I'm not hung up on THC. I think it's fine. Um, I don't really have a big issue with it. Um, I always feel if we can make liquor legal and why not make marijuana legal? I mean, it's a, again, I don't. it's your choice if you want to do it. Uh, but THC in regulated forms, I don't think is a big issue. It's another, a very powerful cannabinoid and many times can help suppress pain. So. Beautiful. And so what do you normally talk about on your show? How, how do you, how do you, you've been doing it for so long. So yes. how, do you, how do you keep having topics, I guess? We talk about you and how amazing you are. Oh, that's, and, and that, nice. that's 24 hours a day. We have <laughs> Dr. Carter Station. Yes. Uh, every show is different. And again, it sounds like after we've done... God, we have over 1,500 hours of podcasts on my website, drjoe.com. And there is some repetition, of course. Uh, but today we recorded a show, actually. And we talked about um, a seasonal affective disorder, how people get depressed in the winter. Right. And then we did a segment on your breath. 
if your breath smells, there's something wrong. And I always say that's a symptom, just like pain is a symptom. And if you have bad breath, it could be colon, it could be infection, it could be acid reflux, it could be liver disease, it could be diabetes, it could be kidney disease. So different smells in someone's breath could indicate other diseases. Or you're on Atkins. Oh, you're on Atkins, right. You just got the ketosis, right? So <laughs> you smell like you're drunk. Um, and then we also covered fingernails, fingernail health. Different things in your fingernail can indicate different uh, diseases. So that was just today's show, for example. And, and so we're always coming up with new topics. There's a lot to cover. A lot of it's repetition, but a lot of it is new and fresh. And if you're interested, my website, drjoe.com, has over 1,500 hours of podcasts on it. What is the, what is the, it again? Dr. Joe, D-R-J-O-E dot com, Dr. Joe dot com. Wow. How's that I for simple? That. that was really, you, you must have I, paid a fortune for that. <laughs> you know, it's funny. They wanted a lot of money for it. And then we, it, it hadn't sold for years and years and years. Right. And I got it literally for about a fifth of what they wanted, which is still expensive. No but kidding. to own Dr. Joe dot com makes life a lot easier for us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and congratulations on that. <laughs> So what do you what do you see for the future with, uh, you know, with everything going forward with the with the change of the new normal? Uh -huh. How do you think it's going to affect us uh, nutrition wise? Do you think I am? Good. I am so excited about it, actually. I know that sounds horrible in the midst of covid, but I'm doing a, actually an interview with uh, uh, Veronica Waters, one of the reporters at WSB. I'm doing it later on today that people are finally getting the awareness that they have to take care of themselves. Yes. And nothing has ever done it as well as kicking everybody in the butt. And people are uh, flo flowing into our offices like crazy. Supplement sales on our websites are skyrocketing, drjoe.com. Uh, I always say the minimum uh, immune protocol that I use is super greens, essential source, vitamin D, and glutathione. That's oh, the protocol. Yes, that's take that every day. Um, and studies have shown if you have normal vitamin D levels, your, your risk of COVID is drops by about 50%. I wow. mean, how crazy is that? It's so easy. Vitamin D is so inexpensive. It's the cheapest insurance policy you'll ever buy. Five drops a day will cost you pennies. So what I'm seeing is more and more people are getting excited about taking care of themselves. They're realizing they got to take care of themselves. They're home now, so they have a little more time. And they're saying, you know, I have this time. I can now take care of things like my health clean my house, make sure I'm using natural cleaning ingredients, chiropractic care, they're keeping their appointments better. So I love it when it comes to healthcare, not that it's happening, but I just love the fact that people are getting better doing it. So and taking Yeah, care you know, things. that's, that's the silver lining. And I agree, because people mm -hmm. are really a lot more conscious about their health than they've ever been before. Yes, because they kind of just skipped along and, and dealt eh, with, right. lived with their, you know, multiple conditions that they can kind of, but you know, those are the ones that are kind of being you know, uh, a you know, they, they start to get sick. <laughs> they don't make it. If, right. uh, yeah, exactly. So. It's a comorbidities with, 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 that's a whole thing with COVID. It's not COVID that's getting people. It's COVID along with lung disease or heart disease or diabetes or obesity or cancer. That's when people are getting hit with the comorbidities. Most people, 99 plus percent get it and survive it. It's right. the people with comorbidities that have the big issues. So what we try to approach is not only address their health, but address the comorbidities. If we can resolve the obesity, their risk factor drops dramatically. Yes. Take the diabetes under control, get the heart disease under control, blood pressure. So that's what we got to do is address the cause, not necessarily the symptoms. Now, uh, I know you mentioned you, you have a lot of videos, but you also have a, a book as well. I have two books. Yes. Uh, first one is called Eating Right for the Health of It. Um, and the first half of the book tells you how to change your diet. And the second half of the book is a ton of recipes, all vegan, gluten-free, uh, real easy to make. I mean, simple, simple stuff, nothing complicated. So now you have a, a, a guideline, a roadmap on how to eat. Right. Second book is called Prescription for Extreme Health. Because people kept saying, Dr. Joe, I want to know everything you know so that I can then become extreme health like you. I want to have extreme health like you. And so that's where the title came from. And it goes through everything, di the nervous system, digestive system, your diet, we have a special segment on for sports injuries, uh, and it really breaks down everything it's pretty simple. If you follow those rules, your chances of, of having extreme health skyrocket. Love it, love it, love it. I, I would, I'm going to go out and get those books today. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> I like it. That, or I'll just go down to R. Thomas and, and, and have one of your meetings, <laughs> right? Uh, for those who don't know that, there's a restaurant here in Atlanta called R. Thomas, and Richard Thomas, very dear friend, he passed away, unfortunately, he hit his head and died from a head injury, actually. But it was like 87 years old, 86 years old, running the restaurant, out running around, having a great time. And uh, he was the founder. He was the president of Kentucky Fried Chicken. 
I didn't know that. Well, I'm going to tell you a story. Richard was – him and the colonel built Kentucky Fried Chicken. He no. broke off and started his own little company called Bojangles. He was the founder of Bojangles. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. Realized that what he was serving people wasn't the healthiest thing in the world. <laughs> broke off from Bo- – sold Bojangles, sold the whole chain, and started his own little restaurant called uh, Our Thomas Grill here in Atlanta. Still open. Um, and he came to me years ago and he says, uh, what's your favorite recipe? And I told him it's an avocado mango salad. And he put it on the menu. Didn't tell me. Put it on the menu. And um, so now if you go there, it's called Dr. Joe's Mango Salad. And that's that's my recipe. He stole it from me. So <laughs> that is, I did, That's fascinating. And our cool. podcast, if you're a podcast person, just look up Dr. Joe for the health of it. Yep. And uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of hours of podcasts there too. It's on a website, but you can also get it on our podcast too. It sounds wonderful. Well, I think I've got all my questions answered for today. Great. Excellent. Well, it's so great to see you again, man. It's good to reconnect with an old friend like you. Yeah. And- well, you know, I, I don't know if you remember uh, if for the audience. I used to work for Dr. Yes. Joe when I first went to school a uh, hundred years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was back in 90. 90- oh, my gosh. It must have been 1996, 97, somewhere around there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Great. Wow. Proud of you. You, you, you represent the profession so well. I'm really proud of what you've done. Well, thank you so much, Doc. I appreciate it. Anyway, it was a pleasure. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk. Thanks so much. Any questions, drjoe.com. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much. Thanks. Bye.